Hey guys, what is going on? On the right, we have the brand new iPad mini Retina display just released yesterday. Managed to get my hands on one even though it was a soft release and not really announced. On the left, we have the iPad Air. Both of these tablets are from Apple and the latest and greatest in their lineup. These things will be selling like hotcakes this Christmas and I'm going to make this video to showcase to you guys the differences and hopefully help you guys decide which one to get. Of course, the biggest deciding factor on which of these tablets are you going to get is definitely the size factor. Are you going to go for A, the 7 inch tablet in the mini or the 9 inch tablet in the full iPad Air? It really comes down to personal preference or what you use each of these for. I'll tell you guys personally, I prefer the size of the mini. That's however, as I mentioned, personal preference. And I want you to let me know in the comments down below which one you guys prefer. Taking a look at the physical differences first, these guys look almost identical. You have your younger or older brother, smaller sibling, larger sibling, however you want to look at it. They feel and look identical to each other. I have the slate gray or slate black model with a black bezel on the front. Both of these things feel extremely well made. It has that aluminum unibody design that Apple has been so famous for. They have the same screen resolution of 2048 by 1536. However, the iPad mini has a smaller screen, which means it has a slightly better resolution. However, your eye won't really notice that much of a difference. They both look absolutely gorgeous, as I mentioned. And another huge reason why I prefer the mini to the Air is the size of the bezel. I always thought that the iPad bezel was too bulky and too big. When they reduced the size on the Air, I was impressed, but I've always loved the size and thinness of the bezel on the Mini. Now the Mini has the Retina display to match, and I definitely think that is a huge bonus. Both the iPad Air as well as the iPad Mini run iOS 7 straight out of the box, and iOS 7 has brought about the most changes to the entire iOS ecosystem since the creation of iOS itself. And this wouldn't be a proper comparison video if we didn't have some sort of benchmark. I'll be using Geekbench 3, which is a standardized test which I run on most of my mobile devices. And theoretically, the iPad Air and the iPad Mini Retina display should perform exactly the same or similar. They have the same insides, which I was surprised of. They have the A7 chip with 64-bit architecture and also has that M7 coprocessor to handle all your graphic and gaming goodness. And you can see the iPad Air has finished first and in a close second, of course, is the Retina Display iPad Mini. And I'm actually quite surprised that the iPad Air scored a better score. They should theoretically have the exact same score as they have the same insides. However, they're extremely similar to each other and they'll perform almost identically in real world situations. And as I mentioned, loading up games, the load times are almost identical. There's hardly any difference between the two. And while I was playing out the games on each of these devices, they performed extremely well without hiccup. And that's actually quite hard to play uh, Tiny Wings, believe it or not, on two different devices, trying to stare at two screens and control your fingers separately. I did try my best though, don't judge me too hard. And of course, gestures work perfectly on both. We'll load up Plants vs. Zombies, a great game to test. Loading time, since this game I found on most of my other devices took the longest time, if not the longest time, of any of my games to load. So as we're waiting for both of these to load, we can talk a little bit about pricing for each of these. On the top, we have the Retina iPad Mini, which starts at $399 whereas the iPad Air retails for $499. $20 more if you are living in Canada, such as myself. It'll be a bit different if you are in other parts of the world. But what I'm trying to get at is there's only a $100 difference in terms of the iPad Air compared to the iPad Mini. I don't know if it's justified for Apple to charge $400 for a 7-inch tablet when you can compare it to the likes of, say, the Nexus 7, which is almost half the price. Um, you're adding a Retina display, sure, but you're still 
in that seven inch market and I definitely don't think that $400 is justified for this size of tablet. Not to mention if you're going up to 32 gigs, you have to add an extra $100 which is absolutely absurd. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below on Apple's pricing. And we have each of the games loading almost identically as I mentioned. The performance is going to be extremely similar on either of these devices. Of course, multitasking works effortlessly on either of these devices. The iPad mini has had the biggest change on the insides if we compare it to the previous gen iPad mini, whereas the iPad Air, not so much if we're comparing it to, say, the iPad 4. And of course, if we're doing simple day-to-day -day activities such as web browsing, as I mentioned, guys, both tablets performed extremely well, and they obviously, they should. They're, they're brand new tablets, and every single tablet that you buy at this day and age should perform extremely well, unless you're, say, buying a, a budget-friendly tablet for $100 on the Android side of things. But if you're paying top dollar, anywhere over $300, you should have an extremely smooth and buttery experience on any tablet that you purchase. And that pretty much wraps up my comparison between the iPad mini retina display and the brand new iPad Air. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, which one you guys are playing to get, or say you're planning to bypass iPads altogether and stick to the Android side of things. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little comparison. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and like this video as it does help me out a bunch. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.